Hello everyone, I'm Naushin Akhan, Role 32, Department of Peace and Conflict Studies, University of Dhaka. Assalamu alaikum, our honorable course teacher, Mr. Saber Ahmed Choudhury, sir. Some days ago, he had given us an assignment, conduct an academic study on a human rights organization. We were required to collect some official documents and interviewed some of the officials of the organization for this purpose. So I started looking for a human rights organization. The organization I chose was Center for Human Rights Studies (CHRS) among many. Now I'll talk about it. Welcome to my documentary presentation on human rights organization. First, we have to know what human rights is. Human rights is a right which is believed to belong to every person. Human rights are rights inherent to all human beings, whatever our nationality, place of residence, sex, national or ethnic origin, color, religion, language or any other status. We are all equally entitled to our human rights without discrimination. These rights are all interrelated, interdependent and indivisible. Declaration of Human Rights by United Nations or known as the UDHR, the mother of all documents regarding human rights. This is my organization, Center for Human Rights Studies, aka CHRS. This is Mr. Jahirul Islam, uh, the founder and chairperson of our organization. They are Mr. Faiz Ahmed and Mahzabin Mithun program heads of this department of this organization what is CHRS CHRS is an organization regarding human rights founded in 2011 by Jahirul Islam the chairperson it is a forum for human rights education endeavors to bring together academics activists community leaders government officials and students to reflect on the theory and practice of human rights it strives towards strengthening knowledge and skills of stakeholders, promoting values among youth and children, and encouraging the spirit of volunteerism in Bangladesh. CHRS believes everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms. It has some categories. This is a non-profit organization because it doesn't get any help from the government. It is a youth organization as it believes that the youth are the future of any country, so as ours. This is also an educational research center. It has some missions which I got to know after I took the interview of uh, the three persons above of this organization. The missions are Developing and implementing human rights education programs in educational institutions using creative mediums such as theater, storytelling, etc. Study circles with young activists and students on national issues using alternative communication mediums such as photography, film shows to create awareness in society about human rights. Organizing activities with youth and students. Foster the spirit of volunteerism and solidarity. Developing and implementing community media for human rights education. Organizing trainings or study sessions on human rights, theory and practice. Facilitating exchange programs and internships to strengthen the capacities of young activists. Enhancing and stimulating indigenous knowledge to promote human rights education creating and producing resource materials on human rights. Its aims are it aims to make the world a better place for living by educating and creating awareness among people regarding human rights because education and knowledge are the biggest powers of human. Human rights is entitled Everybody, we are all born free and equal. No one can take away any of our rights. 
CHRS encourages us to stand up for someone's rights today and also for ourselves also. These are some activities that, are, that have been described by photos. These are pics, pictures of workshops on concept of human rights and role of youth. They believe religions are many but state is one. These are also some workshops on concept of human rights and role of youth and dialogues on human rights, education in schools. They also offer us some internships. They also arrange human rights study sessions in Bangladesh. They also arrange certificate giving ceremony after annual human rights study sessions every year. Lastly, their achievements. This organization has published a book named Monitoring Human Rights Violation, a handbook with the Association of Asian Institute for Human Rights. An article was also published on the newspaper the Daily Observer on youth activism to promote human rights article by CHRS. Finally, I'll say that I had a very beautiful experience by working with them. Thank you everybody.